Hey DNA fam, welcome back to our channel. So today y'all, I want to welcome you to my first ever of the series, my mom vlogs. And today we are doing what's in my hospital bag y'all. So I am 37 plus three days, 37 weeks y'all. And I feel like I am so late doing this. Um, it's well overdue. I should have been packed my bag. Y'all, I'm already out of breath talking. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so let's dive into the video. I didn't tell y'all before in the last video, but yes, I am 37 weeks. I'm in my ninth month. Um, I have two weeks and some change left. And so we need to have this bag packed. So, um, yes, y'all, let's get into the video. Okay, so what's in my hospital bag? All right. Whew. Okay, so first, let me tell y'all, we did the um, hospital tour. I suggest you do the hospital tour before you pack your bag. Um, and we did it late, so. Um, yes, this is my second child, but um, we are delivering at a different hospital so we weren't um you know familiar with everything that that hospital gives you and um you know for baby for me so what i have in my hospital bag is stuff for me and it's stuff for the new arrival when she comes um so what else can i say before we get into it oh daryl he's gonna have his own bag he he does his own thing so I have the smallest bag. I have one of those bags where you fit it under. Here, let me see if I can go like that. Like, see that? <laughs> I have one of those bags where you sit it under your seat in the airplane. So um, you don't have to pay for like a carry-on or nothing like that. It doesn't go in the overhead. It goes under the seat. This is London Fog. I'm so old, right? <laughs> <laughs> um okay so let's dive into it y'all so first i'm going to go over stuff that i have for me and then i'm going to go over stuff that i have for baby now delivering before i try to do the bare minimal like i know the things that they give you in a hospital and so i just i'm taking the bare minimal like you really don't need a lot of things a lot of people go over and beyond and i'm not doing it so, all right, so here we go. Up top, I have my toiletries, and I have um, wipes, because I like to wipe down stuff in the hospital room before anything, especially with that corona going around. <laughs> I'm not playing. So I have some disinfectant wipes. So I have toothpaste, I have um, body wash, lotion, um, I have toothbrushes, little um, travel toothbrushes, and I got all this stuff from the travel section of Target. And then I have some Aqua 4. This stuff is so good. I've used this, I have, okay, oh I've used this um, on Peyton ever since like birth on her behind like after you change your butt and wipe and the aqua four is good it, it takes the moisture out of the diaper and it's just like a protectant between the diaper and the baby's skin and so um i have the aqua four in here and of course it's good for us too right for the mommies and the adults okay so that's the toiletries i have you guys um I have a travel toothbrush um, for Daryl as well, and I have, let's go down, we'll just go down in my bag, but look at this bag, y'all, it comes with so many different departments and pockets, and okay, I'm not showing the bag off, <laughs> alright, next, y'all, I have my boob ease, let me see, it's called boob ease. And so I plan on breastfeeding um, like I did with Peyton. And so this stuff is so good because in the beginning when you are um, 
breastfeeding. I don't want to throw nobody off or like deter anybody from breastfeeding because it is the best. Um, but, uh, you know, your boobs are sore, your nipples are sore, they could perhaps crack and be dried out. And so boob ease keeps them like, it keeps them good. It keeps them moist and it makes sure like, um, they don't crack. Okay, y'all, so where was I? Oh, uh, yes. I was talking about the boobies. Sorry, Peyton woke up from a nap, and she was just, like, knocking on the door. <laughs> so, yes, um, the boobies. If you are, if you want to be a breastfeeding mama, this is what you want. Um, you know what, y'all? I'm still debating. I have peppermint, um, pure essential oil. I have that in my bag because I'm not sure if I want to use my air purifier like I did last time. Um, I was trying to go natural and trying all these different ways to like go natural and be calm and things like that. And so I had one that I put on my pillow. Um, like, you know, you could put like a little smell on your pillow and on your clothes and you know it'll keep you calm smelling it. So um, I got peppermint this time and I actually have like an air diffuser. So I'm trying to think if I want to use that and that will um, see if that will keep me calm. I'm going to try to labor and um, go natural for a while. Hope I don't know about the epidural y'all. I don't know. So I know I'm so, I'm so indecisive still. So I put that in there just in case um, I want to take my diffuser and... Um, use my diffuser and then guys I have my my pads my boob pads and this is from the brand I think Lanisol and of course they're just they're good to put in your uh, your nursing bra um, you know because if you're breastfeeding or what have you your breasts are going to leak you don't want to get your clothes wet. You don't want to get your bra wet with milk or colostrum. So, yes, I have quite a few of these. So, let me tell y'all, my hospital, y'all, the one that we're delivering at this time, last time I was in the hospital for maybe like two and a half days. And um, this time, this hospital, they kick you out. <laughs> so, like, if you are... Um, delivering vaginally one day 24 hours so 24 hours i will be in the hospital that's why i have the bare minimal I, i'm not doing much at all okay 24 hours they kick you out okay so that's that and then what do i have in here Ooh. okay then i have my belt you guys which i'm I mean, I put it in just in case. I think I could wait um, when I get home, especially since it's 24 hours. But I have my belt, my shaper belt, to go around my stomach. And after I give birth, to try and try to do that little bounce back and get everything back in place. And so um, that's that. And so, you know, it stretches. It's is good if the doctor approves you wearing it right after i say wear it <laughs> um let me see let me put that back in i'm trying to keep my bag neat y'all i have been nesting like crazy and um trying to organize everything and so okay y'all so we know that the hospitals they give you like the mesh underwear and all that kind of stuff um they give you pads because you bleed for a few weeks after delivery so i'm just carrying underwear just in case um which i really don't want to show you my underwear <laughs> my husband will kill me um but yes i'm carrying underwear just in case but their mesh underwear is very comfortable um i know some people like to do depends but i'm not doing depends but I plan on using their stuff and utilizing their things there because they give you a lot of good stuff, okay? And so um, then I have my nursing bras. And what's great about these nursing bras 
if you haven't seen them before. So it's like this, and then of course, that it has the latch here that goes down to make it easier, you know, to nurse the baby. And then, now this is my gown from the last, um, last time I delivered with Peyton. So I wanted to wear it again. It's all clean. And so this is my gown. Yes, they will give you a gown. I don't know. I just want to wear my gown. So I have a gown to labor in. And then after that, I'm thinking about taking um, a pajama, which is probably will be open to make it easy for me to deliver. I haven't decided yet. But most of the time you're in the gown. Honestly, and I'm there for 24 hours, most of the time you are in the gown. You don't feel like changing and doing all that stuff until it's time to go home and take a shower and things like that. So, which is probably what I'm going to do. I'm going to just, you know, be in the gown and then take a shower the next day. Oh, and then I have my tank top, which is a nursing tank top, which I plan on wearing, um, putting on the next day to go home in. I don't know how long it'll take for them to discharge us or for us to go home. Um, so after I, you know, get showered and this is what I'm going to wear my nursing tank top. And once again, this is great because this comes down to make breastfeeding easier. And now y'all, it's, it's kind of like, it's nice here in California. So you know, we're not really wearing heavy stuff. Um, it is beautiful weather. It's been in the 70s. So, and then I have my sweatsuit. It's kind of very thin. This is what I'm wearing home. Um, and it's just a, you know, a regular sweatsuit. It opens in the front. And the pants to go with it very loose pants I'm not doing nothing tight after delivering a baby nothing tight sorry y'all I have to I have to fold and do my Marie Kondo method <laughs> even though I didn't do the top like that okay okay so that's me oh I gotta put this stuff in all right so that's that and then guys before I go to the baby um, I have my little notebook that I carry because last time I delivered I jotted everything down I did record it and you can see my last labor and delivery video or vlog but um, I did record it and so um, I wanted to make sure I had everything right like the times of what happened my contractions when they gave me pitocin you know because I was induced last time so um, I really wanted to um, write everything down so I carried a little notebook and as things were happening and progressing I wrote everything down Daryl wrote every helped me write everything down so this helped me to have everything precise for when I wanted to vlog and talk about my labor and delivery story so I would recommend a notebook if you want to do that. If you don't, you don't need it. Okay, so now we're moving on to baby girl. And when I say baby girl, y'all, maybe y'all can give us some ideas on names because we don't have a name yet and we're two and a half weeks out. That's Daryl's doing. But if you have any suggestions for girls' names, you can comment below. Okay? <laughs> okay, and next. We're going to do baby girl. I'll start from the bottom. So I have a few of those little Muslim, Muslim blankets or whatever they're called. Okay, so most of the time they give you the pink and blue blankets, pink, blue, and white blankets, and the hats. So I didn't want to do that this time. And you know when I'm taking pictures of the baby, um, I kind of wanted them to... Um, you know, let her lay on something cute when I'm taking pictures. And so it's just, it's just a little something, just a little blanket for her. And I care, I'm carrying two, which 
probably don't need but i'm thinking if there's any accidents you know for baby they give the diapers the wipes everything so i just have those and then you guys for swaddle we swaddled peyton and so hopefully this one likes to be swaddled and so to make it easier you know the nurse is coming in they checking things on the baby they do shots and all that kind of stuff so um we have these little swaddlers and it's so easy daryl really liked these i think with the blank the blankets that they give you or the swaddle blankets that they give you you have to you have to be good okay you have to be good with those but these they make it so easy so they just put the baby inside here or you put your baby in here and then you put the little arms in and then you just wrap and that's it and your baby is swaddled okay so we use this with Peyton for a while she liked to be swaddled um, so then I have, how many of those do I have? Do I have one of those? Yes, I have one of those. Oh, and y'all, I have another swaddle that I ordered, a very cute swaddle. And I'm thinking for like when, if Peyton comes up after, um, you know, hours after birth um, to meet her sister. Um, I want to have her in something cute for pictures of their first time meeting and so um you know it's just the picture so i have this little swaddle which is so cute and i wanted to go with a darker color it's the um the navy blue and all these pretty pink and uh turquoise and green colors and then it comes with the matching the matching little headband so i think that'll be cute everything basically that she has is hand-me-down from Peyton so um, it was nice to like get her something new you know that's when we want to take some pictures of her like you know those first pictures that you want to send the family and stuff that's good for that so then we have um, just a few little outfits not even we have two onesies I just have onesies because I think most of the time she'll be swaddled, hopefully. But we have onesies, um, just cute, regular onesies for the hospital stay. And, you know, if she has an accident, if y'all are familiar with blowouts, they are no joke. <laughs> so if she has an accident, I have two. Um, <clears throat> and then I have some, where they go? Oh, okay, and then I have some socks. I'm not sure if the hospital gives socks. I can't even remember But um, yes, I have some socks for baby girl and I have like three pair Just in case but most of the time like I said, she'll be swaddled and then um, I have a few hats in case <clears throat> These cute little hats. I have a few hats in case um you know we don't want to keep her in those pink and blue ones that the hospital give you so and they go with the different little outfits or whatever so everything is already washed and ready to go y'all and then i have her going home outfit which is so cute daryl's school he gave they gave us a little um like a little baby shower like a little sprinkle so we got this outfit and I just thought it was so cute. Look at the pants and the top that goes with it. And the little thing that goes over it. Isn't that so cute, y'all? So, yeah, she'll be going home in that. It is so cute. And then, of course, she will have... Um, one of these hats on because she'll have a hat on the whole time going outside going through the hospital you know carrying her through and then last but not least you guys i have my cover um it's good for breastfeeding which i don't mind like i don't really need the cover for breastfeeding um when i'm in the hospital but i have my cover for uh 
when you carry her through the hospital, I'm sorry, um, you know, you can use blankets and stuff like that. But I have this cover and I got it from Target. Or my mom got it for me um, when I was pregnant with Peyton from Target. Um, so that's the cover. You can use it in maybe like four different ways. You can use it as a scarf. You can use it as a car seat cover. Like I said, to go over you to, you know, breastfeed the baby in private if you don't like to be exposed or out like that. Um, yeah, so this thing, this comes in handy. <clears throat> And that is what I have in my hospital bag. Oh, and I was trying to think if I wanted to take this, but another thing we got at the school's um, baby shower is some one of the teacher's um, grandmothers made us this blanket, and it has four burp cloths that come with it or that she made with it which is so cute so I'm I'm not sure if I'm going to take it to the hospital because like like I said it's one day and you probably don't need it um but um and I think the hospital gives you all that stuff like I'm not sure if I'm going to take it or not because it's one day guys like for real this is I don't want to be excessive um <laughs> but yes it's one day and so we'll see if I'm We'll see if I take that. Um, what else? That's it. Oh, and then, of course, what I have behind me, which I'm, like, so comfortably laying on already and using, is the boppy. And, ugh, um, I might take this to the hospital because, um, of course, you know, breastfeed, and it makes it so much easier, you know, to just put this around your waist. Have the baby here and breastfeed the baby. Because I think if you don't have one, they just stack pillows and you can do it that way. But instead of if you don't want to keep stacking pillows, especially when you're feeding the baby every three hours, um, two to three hours. Uh, if you don't want to keep stacking pillows, this is good. And it's also comfortable like you can just use it for you. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see about taking the Bobby, but I think I'm going to take it. And like I said, Daryl, he has his own bag um, that he's going to pack. Ooh. Okay. Daryl has his own bag that he's going to pack. And then, um, of course, we have a bag. We're going to put a bunch of snacks in his bag for him because y'all know I'm not going to be able to eat. They're going to give me ice chips, and which is delightful for me. But I'll eat before I go to the hospital. <laughs> but I won't be able to eat, but Daryl will. So we like to keep him loaded up on snacks. Um, so you might want to do that. Um, is that it? That's all I have in my bag? I think so, y'all, because they pretty much give you everything. They seriously think of everything to give you. So a lot of things are just for your own comfort, okay? So that is what's in my hospital bag, y'all. Please like, comment, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. And I am so excited to share all the other things with you in my series of mom vlogs, okay, y'all? Or mommy vlogs. So, um, yes, I will see y'all next time very soon. The labor and delivery video hopefully will be soon. Once I said I have two and a half weeks, I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to let you go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful in any way. Um, and I will see y'all on the next one. I love y'all. Bye.